What was it about the, the story that you felt in particular that, that you had to get involved with this and, and helm it? Really? Um, it's a mind-blowing story about a real-life event that most people, me included, had never heard of. Um, such a simple but beautiful illustration of compassion and tolerance and uh, an imaginative way of finding common ground that you wouldn't think existed, I thought that it's really important that this gets told. And what's really clever about Stephen Beresford's script as it arrived to me um, was that it's an opportunity to tell an important story, which has got a lot of depth to it, to a wide audience because it's so funny. And those two things, the entertainment value and the depth of it, are quite rare to find those things combined. And you've, you've got an incredible ensemble cast. Was that a daunting prospect? Because we've got some big actors in this, haven't we? You know, I come from a background in theatre. I've done 25 years of theatre directing. So I, I, working with actors is, that's what I do. And that's what I like to do. And in fact, I was able to bring some of that to the film because um, we rehearsed, for example, for two weeks. That, this is a film that's got many characters in it. It's a very crowded film. That could potentially be a disaster. But by rehearsing together, I was able to explain to them that we were going to move very fast, do very few takes, and scenes needed to happen as a whole. An actor, any given actor, couldn't wait for their close-up. I couldn't guarantee I was going to do that. They had to make the scene work as a wide, and we'd maybe use multiple cameras and things. So I needed very actors to understand that and very versatile actors and I, need, and I owed them the chance to talk about their characters and rehearse a bit so that they were ready for that kind of approach. And that's, that's how there are so many uh, successful performances in the movie, I think. But interestingly enough, you're saying that you come from theatre because there are so many great stage actors are just phenomenal on film, isn't it? And I, I wonder what is it about the technique that because the disciplines are slightly different, what makes them so strong on screen, really? I think um, theatre acting allows an actor, a leading actor, to go through a story that starts at 7.30 and finishes at 10 o'clock, and they follow it all the way through. It's got continuity and depth. And you rehearse for, like, six weeks. So you really pack your bags well for that journey. You talk a lot about the character, about their history, about their relationships, things that aren't necessarily in the, in the show, but that help build the character. And so, so all of that stuff. And so that's the, what I call the, the invisible part of the iceberg. And that's what really creates a performance. So theatre actors have got an instinct for doing that. The other thing theatre actors are very good at is playing with each other. Film acting can be quite isolating. You do your bit for the camera and the camera turns around and uh, sometimes the, the connection isn't necessarily there between the actors. But theatre actors understand that you can help each other, you boost each other by being connected. And so I think those are, that's a couple of things. There are many things that, you know, a lot of film actors who do primarily film are envious of theatre. That, that's their dream is to be in a place that, uh, it's, uh, in Hold the space. It's, it's a, acting in front of the camera is a hard place to act. It's easier, more conducive to acting, to act um, on a stage front enough.